Misha and welcome back to the painting video. So for today's video we're gonna do a fun little unboxing before I start painting and these colors I've been wanting to try those gouache colors for a long time now and I finally caved in and bought them and they were kind of expensive well i had to buy them separately so it was like six dollars for the smaller tube and then i bought of course the white one a bigger one because i do use a lot of white and yeah i just wanted to try them and i'll be going on vacation soon so i was trying to find a palette with minimum color and then i could just mix it and paint when i travel so i wanted to test it out before i bring it out with me in my travels I saw this picture on Pinterest where I always am <laughs> these days and yeah I wanted to paint those roses and I kind of like the bouquet effect that it had so I wanted to try to paint it with these colors and yeah test it out at the same time and while I was putting down the colors on my palette I did realize that the consistency was different compared to the Himi gouache set that I had. It was more liquidy and I just decided to kind of take the colors, add some water and kind of put it on paper. When I decided to put it on paper, it was interesting because I first made it liquidy just to kind of see how the color works with the water but it ended up making streaks. So you can probably tell in my sketchbook right now, you could see my paintbrush streaks. So I tried to mix it with some more color and try to make it thick, but when it, I made it too thick, that's when it would dry out quickly. So yeah, I started struggling a little bit with that. And I also think I did not choose the right painting to do it with it. I should probably have done more of a block painting test. So just paint one color and see how it is. I just kind of wanted to get straight into painting. So yeah, you'll see me kind of struggle here and keep adding a bunch of layers, playing around with the colors and water consistency with the paint. And one thing I also realized, so this gouache set, after it dry, it didn't really mix with the next layer of color that I had added. Usually Himi Gouache said you can easily reactivate it but for this one I found it kind of hard so it was just add the layers and keep adding layers and if it dries up you can't really blend it as well. It was kind of interesting to make a new painting and trying to learn how to use a medium but yeah let's see how that turns out. At this point, I started hating my painting, but I didn't want to stop, even though I really wanted to just stop and take that page off. But I tried telling myself, it's okay, it's the background anyway, and when I add more details, maybe it will blend in and look decent in the end. But even when I started using the white to kind of add more smaller details on top, I don't know. I said it didn't blend, but I didn't wait for it to dry, so it blended, but I could not get opaque enough of a color. Maybe it was because I added too much water. If you guys know how to use these colors, let me know because I think I was just going about using it in a weird way. I think you should use this color to do like illustrative painting, more of when you don't blend them, you just paint them one straight color and making simple designs with it. I think that's what you're supposed to use it for, but anyway, I still, tried playing around with the colors after some time i just got in some kind of zone and i was just adding a bunch of layers and trying not to hate it too much so yeah this is i don't know how to explain this painting to you guys it's basically me just correcting and adding more colors and over correcting again and yeah that's what i tried doing <laughs> Thank you. 
And after that, I told myself, okay, let's just stop with the background and start adding this fence that really attracted me to the picture in the first place. And oh boy. So like I said, the color come out liquidy. I just kind of picked out the color and mixed a little bit of water to no water. And it still wasn't opaque enough. I had to go back and add several layers to make it look decent, but you could still see like the streaks and my paintbrush, like the mark of it. And I didn't know how to fix it. So I just went one time, waited for it to dry and try to go back one more time. At that point, I just thought that this was a lost case, but I still wanted to finish it because I kind of wanted to add the roses in the end. Um, I do like the color scheme of having green, white, and red in it. So I kind of wanted to see those colors together. And I just thought of it of, it's okay. It's my time to just experiment with colors. The painting doesn't have to be perfect. As long as I just work with a new medium, see what it's like on paper, and yeah, just keep practicing. After finally being done with adding the white layers, I decided to go back and add some kind of shadows in it. It wasn't perfect, but you know what? We're gonna squint our eyes from now on and watch me paint. <laughs> because it's not gonna be perfect, but I started having a little bit of fun as soon as I removed the expectation that the painting had to look perfect. So if that ever happens to you and you start hating your painting, well, first of all, if you do want to take a break, please do. I kind of wanted to push forward so I could keep recording. If not, you don't want to stop and you want to keep using the colors, go ahead. Just tell yourself it's your painting before you get to do the next best one. And take off the expectation of making a perfect one. Just think of it as a practice painting and think of it in a way that the more you paint the better you'll get and yeah art is an ongoing learning journey there's always new things to learn Just like I thought I was good in using gouache colors, but apparently I didn't know how to use this medium. So it's going to be interesting for me to use it for when I travel. I think I'm going to do a couple more painting with that, a couple more testing after this painting and figure out if I can bring it along with me. And finally, I decided to add the roses. In the beginning, I wanted to make them look perfect, big, 
with some details showing through but at this point I just wanted to play around with the colors see how they look together and then to see how this paint work all together and the red wasn't that bad the red actually was able to pop for the colors not as much with the white so it probably just mean that you don't have to use too much water with the white and add more layers but for the red color it was pretty fun to work with and yeah i just added some dots here and there and tried to add some details well when i say some you'll see i i sometimes don't know when to stop with the details because i try to keep adding and adding and adding to try to fix it <laughs> I'm saying fix it with quotation mark right now. I'm making the action, but yeah, <laughs> it's fine. I had a fun time playing with a new color, so I don't mind it. I know you're probably looking at this and thinking when is she gonna stop i just never know when to stop adding details <laughs> but yeah eventually i do stop and yeah i hope that you guys still enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me let me know what you thought about the odd supplies and what i could use it for and yeah i will see you in the next one Allez, bye